Thai-Malaysian border consists of both a land boundary across the Malay Peninsula and maritime boundaries in the Strait of Malacca and the Gulf of Thailand. There are several official land border crossings between the two territories that are ports of entry into the respective countries. In 2014, the Asian Development Bank completed a scoping study on potential development of the area around each of the border crossings and the publication is available on the internet. Both governments are now focusing on development of the area around Malaysia's Bukit Kayu Hitam and Sadal border crossing. In this presentation, we look at progress being made in that border economic area. Kedah is the eighth largest state by area in Malaysia, and it has a population of 1.65 million. Its capital, Alor Sitar, has a population of 400,000 and is located 48 kilometers from the border crossing into Thailand. The driver for border economic area development is the Northern Corridor Economic Region, or NCER. It is overseen by the Northern Corridor Implementation Authority, or NCIA, which sets the strategy for a balanced and sustainable development of agriculture, manufacturing, and services in the border region. There are at present five important components to Kedah's border economic area. Kedah Science and Technology Park and Kulim High Tech Park, Bukit Kayu Hitam Special Border Economic Zone, Rubber City, Bukit Kayu Hitam CIQ and Road Facilities, and Tourism, especially in Langkawi Island. NCER contains the Kedah Science and Technology Park and the Kulim High Tech Park, which has a land area of 14.5 square kilometers. The two areas focus on science and technology clusters and the establishment of global research centers. The Kitkayu Hitam Special Board Economic Zone covers 4,400 acres or 1,781 hectares. The site flanks both sides of the North-South Expressway at Bukikayu Hitam. It consists of two industrial zones, a halal processing zone, three agricultural areas, a logistics center, and CIQ facilities. Kedah Rubber City has had a slow start. At the moment, implementation is at the land acquisition stage. The industry faces low natural rubber prices, which has dampened plantings and cultivation incentives but it does help downstream activities to become more internationally competitive. The Kedah government, while supporting the rubber city, wants to diversify the state economy, but is limited by the requirement that much of its land remain under rice cultivation for national security reasons. The CIQ complex at Bukit Kayu Hitam was completed in 2017-2018 and expanded the facilities from the previous 10 hectares to nearly 30 hectares. While infrastructure has improved, trade facilitation at border points is still a major issue since it affects the clearance of goods and people. To address these issues, the governments of Malaysia and Thailand have agreed to extend the CIQ operating hours at the Bukit Kayu, Hitam and Sadao CIQ facilities from 18 to 24 hours daily for trial period. This step represents a beginning toward implementation of a common CIQ in Bukit Kayu, Hitam, Sadao which is currently tasked under the IMTGT Working Group on Trade and Investment. Tourism is also central to border area development for Kedah, and the island of Langkawi is fast becoming a go-to destination for international travelers. Songkla province covers nearly 7,400 square kilometers and its population of 1.4 million makes it the 11th largest province of Thailand. Its capital, Hadiai, has a population of 0.36 million and is located 70 kilometers from the border crossing into Malaysia. The Thai crossing into Malaysia is at the border town and checkpoint of Danok, which means outpost, and it's 10 kilometers south of Sadal which is traditionally used to refer to the location of the CIQ facility. Some class four key border economic area components are the Southern Industrial Estate and Rubber City, Songkla Deep Sea Port, the Sadao CIQ, and Padang Besar CIQ. 
of an industrial estate, or SIE, along with Rubber City within it, is located 15 kilometers from Hat Yai and 82 kilometers from the border with Malaysia. The Songkla Rubber City is an industrial estate in the form of an industrial cluster with a focus on the complete cycle of rubber processing, from the midstream rubber production industry to the downstream, such as the latex mattress, gloves, condom, flooring materials. Spanning an area of 195 hectares, its layout has been designed to accommodate multiple zones, allocated to each stage of the full spectrum of industrial rubber processing operations, along with a landscape that is consistent and harmonious with nature and the surrounding environment under the concept of eco-industrial town. Within the Rubber City Industrial Estate, the infrastructure and utility systems have been provided with the international standard to so as to accommodate all of the manufacturing sector's full potential. Moreover, investors shall be granted with IEAT and BOI privilege as well as a comprehensive one-stop services. Electric system, three water reservoirs, plumbing system, wastewater treatment system, a full-fledged telecommunication system and integrated security with CCTV cameras covering the project areas. SIE in Rubber City is made up of large multinationals like Michelin, the world's second largest tire manufacturer, Schlumberger, the world's largest oil fuel service company, and Carex, the world's largest condom maker. There are also SMEs that produce a variety of products. An example is Ratapum Agriculture Cooperative Limited, which produces a variety of high quality rubber products, including flooring. It also manufactures boots using high quality latex and the latest technology and equipment. The Songkla Deep Sea Port was constructed in 1986 and Chao Praya International Port Company Limited, a private company, has been operating the port since 1988. The length of the pier is 500 meters with a width of 120 meters. Overall, the entire pier covers 115,200 square meters. Port capacity is 2.1 million tons of cargo a year. For containers, the capacity is 200,000 20 foot equivalent units, or TEU, a year. In the last six years, the number of ships entering the port each year has varied from 338 to 550. About one half are container ships. There are three major limitations to the existing port. First, the maximum draft of a ship is 8 meters, and a large ship cannot exceed a draft of 7.7 .7 meters. The size of a ship is limited to a maximum of 173 length overall, or LOA, meters, and its beam cannot exceed 25 meters. By way of comparison, the Nang port has a draft limitation of 11 meters for ships. Second, the size of the container yard is already near full capacity. With the load-bearing limitation of the pier, intermodal container guidelines indicate a maximum stacking of three containers. However, containers are currently being densely positioned up to six stacks based on a last-in, first-out, or LIFO strategy. Third, there are no front cranes for loading and unloading containers and other cargo. All ships must have their own built-in cranes. A new facility, Songkla 2 Port, is to be located at Natab Subdistrict in Chana District of Songkla Province, which is about 40 kilometers south of the existing Songkla Port. The proposed size is 1,200 meters long by 900 meters wide. The project is currently at the Environmental Health Impact Assessment, or EHIA, stage. Songkla Sadao Customs Checkpoint, along with that of Penang Besar, account for one half of Thailand's total value of water trade. The increasingly large volume of trade through Sadao and plans for board economic area implementation have motivated improvements in the existing facility with a new truck and depot and better accommodations at the border. And most noteworthy, the construction of a huge new CIQ facility that is to be operational by the end of 2019. The following are the main characteristics of the new facility. The new CIQ will be finished in September 2019 
There will need to be cooperation with the Malaysian authorities for its opening, which is expected in early 2020. Construction budget is 1,532 million baht, which is 48.2 million US dollars. Total area is 559 rai, which is nearly 90 hectares or 222 acres. CIQ facilities will take up 20% of the total area. It will have three passenger x-ray machines, two x-ray machines for trucks, and an area designated for six x-ray machines for trucks. For road access, there's an extension from highway number four to the new Sadal Customs Checkpoint. The new CIQ segments traffic between people and cargo trucks. Housing consists of three buildings with 34 apartments for both Sadao and Padang Besar customs officials. The Thai Malaysian Road will have nine lanes. Finally, the existing CIQ facility will be used exclusively for movement of people, cars, and buses, that is, no trucks. And the new facility will accommodate all, that is, people, cars, buses, and trucks. Padang Besar CIQ is located within Songkla province and services movements of goods and people from Perlis State of Malaysia. The customs authority at this border crossing handles both road and rail traffic across the border. The major constraint at the Padang Besar CIQ facility is its inability to expand its capacity due to large concentration of housing and commercial sites in the area. The two major problems are as follows continuous traffic congestion along the border and delays in container movements due to the limitation of the area available for storage. The following improvements are being made to address these problems. Investment in mobile x-ray machines, relocation and upgrading of fixed x-ray machines, construction of new CIQ office building, a new $1.6 million warehouse project and central storage building with improved cargo truck parking area to increase capacity and reduce congestion. There are plans to develop an electric double rail train station from Badang Besar to Hadiai. It will cover 48 kilometers and service three stations, Badang Besar, Klong Nai, and Hadiai. It will have a 3.5 million passenger capacity annually and transport 1.5 million tons of cargo a year. Travel time from Badang Besar to Hadiai will be 28 minutes. Malaysia and Thailand are near completion on their respective BEAs in Kedah and Songkhla. Separate industrial estates exist with activities based on a simple model of trade of each country's comparative advantages. In the next stage and within the immediate future, cross-border cooperation should move toward cross-border value chains grounded on seamless trade and a fluid transportation system. An example of a successful mechanism for streamlining regulations and reducing non-physical barriers to trade and investment is the Greater Mekong Subregion Cross-Border Transport Agreement, or GMS-CBTA. There are five immediate actions needed to move to the next stage of the BEA process. First, identify economically viable high-value industries. A pre-feasibility study will need to examine the broad range of potential industries for the border economic area and rate their economic viability as well as rank those projects according to the non-economic interests of specific groups like SMEs, multinationals, and the local population. Second, carry out a time-release study. At the 10th IMTGT Summit, ADB committed to conducting a time-release study on cargo clearance for the IMTGT customs checkpoints. Implementation of that commitment should be carried out as soon as possible and updated annually to monitor time release progress on both sides of the Bukit Kayut Hitam Sadao border crossing. Third, rationalize expansion of the second Songkla port. Development of the second Songkla port project in Natap subdistrict of Songkla province is critical to the BEAs in both Kedah and Songkla. In assessing the project, it's important that consideration be given to the interests and preferences of the local population as well as those of BEA interest groups. ADB could assist in gathering and processing the information to identify the optimal strategy going forward. Fourth, expand capacity of Malaysia's North-South Expressway from Bukit Kayu Hitam to Alor Sitar. The Bukit Kayu Hitam Jitra Expressway currently consists of only four lanes, two in each direction. It should be upgraded and aligned with other sections to the south of Alor Sitar that have six to eight lane stretches. Otherwise, congestion will occur quickly with development of the border economic area and facilitation of border crossings. Also, 
the Malaysian government needs to collaborate with the government of Thailand in the construction of a one-kilometer road connecting the new CIQ Sadao checkpoint with that at Bukit Kayu Hitam checkpoint. And fifth, establish common formalities between the two customs authorities. Having completed the design of the BEAs on both sides of the border, the governments of Malaysia and Thailand are now poised to move forward with the second stage of the development. It involves cross-border cooperation to facilitate trade and investment and upgrade transportation infrastructure. ADB's expertise and experience with the CBTA could help Malaysia and Thailand to adopt a similar mechanism and help bring concrete results quickly and efficiently.